Okay. Now uh, this fuselage is done. Uh, the wing fuselage, everything is done. Okay. Now we will see how to fix this motor to the plane. Now this we are going to use a 5 inch uh, propeller, 5 inch 5 by 5 propeller. And there is this uh, uh, propeller adapter which is coming along with that. Now this is this motor is a 2000 kV motor, 2150 kV motor and it is having a 3 mm shaft. So see which shaft is, which of these holes, this propeller adapters, which of these holes are fit, making a tight fit. Okay, so this one, this one is fixing tight, this one, this one, so you insert it and see. So we just uh, remove that. So I have removed this. Now, what we need to do is put this uh, shaft, propeller shaft adapter into this propeller back side, this side. Yeah, and uh, we have to fix it in a reverse manner like this. The markings, the uh, word, the, this is the front of the propeller, this is the, the where it is written that needs to face the uh, motor and then you have to keep it like this but if the propeller sh that shaft adapter that we put inside may come out so what we need to do is press it tight and then take this super glue and just add one put one drop of super glue for the shaft adapter so that uh, it gets tightly stuck there because when we when it is when the propeller is spinning fast we don't want that shaking and moving around. Now wait for about uh, 20 seconds for the glue to dry. Yeah. Now the glue is dry in the propeller. So now how to fix this is take this and then the front of the propeller put it inside like this. Before that there is this O-ring. This O-ring what you do is put it, there are these two screws to attach the o-ring insert it inside like this and do one of the screws like this, like this, keep it like this and now keep the propeller and now pull the o-ring over the motor shaft and the propeller and insert it into the other screw yeah so now you see the propeller is fixed now take this motor and what you do is insert it into the motor mount like this. Yeah, yeah you see this. Now this motor is fixed. You just insert it and there is a screw here. Here there is a screw in the motor mount. That screw you tighten it and the motor is tightly fixed. Yeah, now it is tight, the motor is tightly fixed, it's not coming out. Okay, so now the plane is done. Now what you do is make it inverted and take the speed controller and uh, connect the speed controller. Three leads are there. After connecting it, what you do is finally do the connection checkings and if the motor direction is wrong interchange any of the two wires among these three and now after that what you do is keep this speed controller other way other side now take the front nose fuselage and like this what you do is insert it here and this notch has to go in there as I said earlier yeah this is a not a permanent fixing this has to be you should not glue it yeah ensure that here there is no gap and here there is no gap this side this two plates now it is tightly fixed now take this bottom plate this is the bottom plate now you can keep it here okay and uh, after keeping it there what you do is take cellophane tape Take this elephant tape and then attach it here. Yeah, keep it and attach it here. 
same way the other side also attach it with cellophane tape don't permanently glue this bottom plate and the nose cone fuselage because if you attach it permanently when you crash this nose is going to get damaged at that time if you attach it permanently it will affect the body of the plane also ok so now it is all attached ok now just take the speed controller and insert it into the nose the so back side there is a big opening inside you just insert it and see this comes here now this is the place where we can keep the battery and the receiver and uh, one more thing is pending we need to fix the control horns like you have these two control horns these two control horns are there wooden control horns here there is this cut laser cut already there just press these control horns both the control horns one for each side one for this side and one for that side make that mark and there what you do is just apply some hot glue and again just press it same way the other side press it and then make the mark and now apply hot glue there in that gap and then fix this yes so now the control horns are fixed let it dry and here you attach there is a servo hole there is a, these are the servo mounting holes both the sides two servo mounting holes are there now we attach the servo here and fix the push rod which is given and after that attach them to the receiver and with and with the L1 mixing you can go and fly this plane next we will see how to attach the servos uh, we need two servos for this and we have this push rods uh, some small uh, iron rods and you will also need a nose plier for connecting the push rods and for bending the push rods now first take the push rod and make a Z, Z bend like what you do is hold it at the tip and keep your thumb keep your thumb close to that plier and then bend it by 90 degrees like this hope you can see yeah so 90 degrees now what you do is turn it around and again hold it here and hold your thumb closer if you hold it here then the bend will not be proper hold it against the plier and again bend it yeah so now you see there is a uh, Z kind of a bend now that is one Z bend now that Z bend what you take is this is the uh, uh, servo, ha, servo arm and in that servo arm just insert it yeah insert the servo arm insert the servo arm like this at the last hole now let us see how to fix the servo now here in the plane there is this place for servo fixing the servos take the servos these are already centered by connecting it to a receiver and the battery put the hole in put the uh, wire through the hole and then pull it back like this and gently push it into the hole yeah like this and don't push it all the way in this is all the way in but before pushing it all the way in what you do is take the glue gun and apply glue at the bottom of the side of the servo both the sides yes and press it now the servo will get fixed strong to the side of the plane now you have the control horn here attached already now what we need to do is we have to 
take this servo arm and then fix it here and attach it to the servo arm here. Now for doing that, before doing that what you do is, uh, take one, uh, this is a earbud, the cotton has been removed from both the sides, this is an earbud, insert the earbud into the, uh, insert this uh, push rod into the earbud like this, like this. Why we are doing it is because we will be taping it here so that the flex is maintained. The put a cello tape over this uh, thing so that the servo that the push rod is tight and it doesn't flex and also doesn't move around. Now we will fix this uh, push rod to the control horn on the elevons with the help of a linkage stopper. So these are the linkage stoppers. This you get it in any uh, hobby uh, website like uh, RC hobby stalls. Or you can without, if you don't have linkage stopper, you can put a Z-bend and connect it. The Z-bend is for, uh, the V-bend is for adjusting the length. Now, uh, to connect the linkage stopper, just open the screw and then insert it in the first hole. And again tighten the screw. I'll use this uh, plier to hold the nut and tighten it. Yeah, now it is tight. I'll just turn it around so that it's easy for me to do it. Now we will attach this uh, linkage stopper. There's a small hole there. Loosen this screw and then take this uh, uh, push rod and insert it into that hole in the linkage stopper. And through like that and then fix this screw back Tighten the screw after inserting that uh, push rod through the linkage stopper. Now you have inserted it. What you do is don't tighten this fully. Before tightening it fully, see this? Yeah. Push this uh, uh, free uh, that earbud that is there. That will be the push rod guide. And put a cellophane tape uh, tightly on the earbud so that. It becomes a guide for the push rod. Okay. Like this, you put it around and paste it, and ensure that this is not like lifting or bending down. Ensure that it is flat, like on level with the wing. This one. It should not be this way. This way. It should be exactly flat. Ensure that it is flat. Keep it flat. And then once you know that it is flat, at that position itself, tighten the control the linkage stop. Yes, see this? Now it is fixed. Yeah. Now if you move the servo, where you can control the. And then, without forgetting. Take the uh, screw for the servo arm and then tighten it, otherwise the servo arm will come loose while the plane is flying. This is very important. Okay. Now, repeat the same thing for the other side by attaching one servo here and then put repeat the same steps. So that's how you attach the servo and after you attach the servo you can just go and uh, you know attach the receiver and the battery and start flying. The CG for this plane is here exactly here so ensure that your battery position is made such a way that 
the plane is balancing. When you hold it here, the plane should balance uh, on level. And this model, you need to give at least a 3 fourth and above throttle, like around 75% throttle and above, for it to get launched into the uh, sky. After that, you can keep reducing the throttle. Uh, but for while launching, ensure that you are launching it at, with at least about 75% uh, uh, of throttle. So that's how you build it. Have fun and flying. Have fun flying.